You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and Okay, children, time for Music Circle. Music Circle was one of Caillou's favorite activities. And Clementine was one of Caillou's favorite friends. Clementine, I saved a seat for you. Thanks, Caillou. We've got a special Music Circle today. We're going to make our own instruments out of things people usually put in their recycling boxes. Great! Okay! Wonderful, Jeffrey. Oops. Wow, neat. Clementine, look at my drum. Good idea. A drum? But I made a drum. Look, my drum is drumsticks. What a great drum, Caillou. And what did you discover, Clementine? I made a drum too, but look what I can do. Terrific. Clementine, you can tap out a beat for us, and we'll add the other instruments one at a time. Caillou wanted to tell Miss Martin that he should lead, because playing the drum was his idea. But it was too late. Leo? Good! Jeffrey and Jason? Now Xavier? And Caillou? Great playing, everyone! Thank you, Clementine, for getting us started. No fair! Clementine just copied me. The next day, Caillou had forgotten all about Clementine copying his drum. I'm going to build a road on my mountain. Hey, this can be my bulldozer. Good idea. Look, a garage! Wow, cool road! Can I drive a car in it, Clementine? Sure! You can drive on my road, Leo. Thanks, maybe later. This one has a garage. Caillou felt a little frustrated. Building the road had been his idea, not Clementine's. She had just copied him. Caillou was looking forward to snack time. Today, everyone was allowed to bring a snack from home. Sorry, no room, Clementine. There's room on that side. My snack is carrots. What's yours, Caillou? Why? Do you want to copy my snack, too? <laughs> that night, Caillou was still upset with Clementine. What's the matter, Caillou? Clementine is a copycat, and I don't like it. 
A copycat, hmm? Why don't you tell me what she did? First she copied my drum, and then she copied the road I made in the sand. I see. Well, I'm sure she didn't do either to annoy you. Clementine is your friend. Right, Caillou? Yeah, I guess so. Today, we're all going to make beautiful birds. And you can decorate yours any way you like. Can I sit here, Caillou? Okay. Just don't copy me. I like what you're doing, children. Jeffrey, you're supposed to stick the googly eyes to your bird, <laughs> not to yourself. <laughs> so proud of his bird. He couldn't wait to show it off. Caillou, your bird is beautiful. I like the tail. I'm going to do that too. But Clementine, you're being a copycat. Boy, that's a lot of red feathers, Jeffrey. <laughs> Maybe we could put a few on your bird. My goodness. Look at these beautiful wings and tail feathers. Clementine, why don't you tell the class about your bird first? Caillou didn't think it was fair that Clementine got to talk about her bird first. Um, it's a colorful bird. And what gave you the idea to make the feathery wings? Caillou gave me the idea. He's good at stuff. He makes the best drums and knows how to build great roads. And his bird made me want to make mine even better. This made Caillou feel proud. Clementine was only copying him because she liked his ideas. Good for you, Caillou. It's wonderful of you to share your creativity with others. Thanks. And thanks, Clementine. Achim! <gasps> I think Jeffrey wants to share with others, too. <laughs> From that day on, Caillou didn't mind if Clementine copied him. Knowing how much she liked his ideas made him feel proud. Caillou's poster. Now what do we need, Mommy? We need some peaches, Caillou. Caillou liked helping Mommy at the grocery store. Peaches, check. Next up, apples. Did somebody say apples? Check it out. I just got in a fantastic bunch of apples today. Fresh from a local farmer. Mmm, I love apples. Me too. And do you know why fresh apples are so good? Because they taste yummy in an apple pie? <laughs> I was going to say because you can make applesauce with them. But I like your answer too. So, what else is on your list? Wow, those are some fun drawings. Did Mommy draw those? <laughs> no, I did them. Caillou showed Ted some of his drawings of cars, and rockets, and even one of Gilbert. Would you be interested in drawing a poster for my shop window? Yeah. A poster of what? Hmm, something to celebrate fall. You know, trees and leaves and such. There might even be a big bag of apples in it for you. Really? Uh-huh. And you might even get your picture in the local newspaper. Okay, everyone, it's art time. What are you doing, Caillou? Ted from the grocery store wants me to draw a poster. It might even be in the newspaper. Wow! 
Wow! That's a wonderful opportunity, Caillou. We're all very excited for you. So, what are you going to draw? Um, maybe a garden with fruit trees and vegetables and Ted holding up a big red apple. And a bunny? Maybe. Caillou was excited to start his poster. He began by drawing some apple trees. That doesn't look right. They don't look good either. Maybe I'm not such a good drawer. Caillou was feeling frustrated until he noticed someone else's drawings. That's your picture up there, right, Leo? Uh-huh. It's good. Could you draw some apple trees for me? Okay. Now those are great apple trees. But my veggies look like... Squashed pumpkins. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I'm good at drawing. I can draw some carrots for you. And a bunny. Okay. Thanks, Clementine. I like the rabbit. I need to color it in. Caillou noticed Jason was really good at coloring inside the line. Jason, do you want to help me color in my poster? Yeah, okay. Can I help? I'm really good at drawing people. Great, you can draw Ted. Uh, what does Ted look like? He's kind of tall. He likes to smile a lot, and... Oh, yeah, he wears a blue shirt. How's this? It looks exactly like him. Hmm. Something is missing. I know, the sun. Caillou was feeling very proud of the poster. It's very good, Caillou. Do I get my apples now? <laughs> I'm sure Ted will give them to you soon enough. Caillou, I really like your poster. You're quite the artist. Thank you. Ted says Caillou is going to have his picture in the newspaper. <gasps> you must be so excited. Isn't that wonderful, Leo? Yeah, I guess so. Just look at those trees and that cute little bunny. Wonderful. Caillou liked having people say nice things about the poster. But some of those nice things were said because of his friend's work. Here you go, Caillou. A big bag of apples for your terrific poster. You've earned it. Uh, thank you, Ted. Your mom will bring you back tomorrow so I can take a photo of you and your masterpiece for the newspaper. Okay? Uh, okay. You must be How so come you proud. didn't say something? <laughs> I helped you with the poster. And Clementine and Jason and Jeff. I know, but Great. it was supposed to be my poster. Come on, Leo. Is something the matter, Caillou? Yeah, it's the poster. I, um, I didn't do it all by myself. Oh, I see. Did Leo help you? Uh-huh. But I drew the sun. Only Leo drew the trees. And Clementine drew the bunny. Some other kids helped, too. It sounds like you all worked on it as a group. Yeah. I should tell Ted I had some help. And then he can let everybody know we made it together. And I know how. Okay, now let's see a big smile. Say, applesauce. Applesauce! Thanks for inviting us to be in the picture, Caillou. We all worked on the poster, so we should all be in the picture. I can't believe we're going to be in the newspaper. Cool! These are delicious. Now, let's just get one more photo. That day, Caillou learned how to give credit 
where it was due. And sharing the photo with his friends felt wonderful. Playhouse play date. Today was a big day at Caillou's house. Daddy was making a new playhouse for Caillou and Rosie. And it was almost finished. Here's some lemonade, Daddy. Phew. Thanks, you two. I wish I could help. <sighs> Believe me, bringing lemonade is a huge help. Besides, you're going to decorate the house. Hi, Caillou. Wow, it looks almost done. It is almost done. All it needs are Caillou's finishing touches. I get to paint it however I want and put furniture inside. Do you want curtains? I bet you could have my old ones. And can I help you paint? I have my own brushes and everything. <laughs> okay. Yay! I'll get my brushes and the curtains. This is going to be fun. And it was fun. Caillou and Sarah worked very hard on the playhouse. They cleaned it. <clears throat> they painted a garden on the side wall. They even put up Sarah's curtains, thanks to Daddy's old curtain rod. Then Sarah thought of one more thing for the playhouse. It's a telephone. I made it with my mom last year. Does it really work? Uh-huh, as long as you keep the string tight. Let's try it. I'll go inside the playhouse and you can phone me. before they come in. <laughs> okay, but who's everyone? I have an idea. Come on. Mm -mm. Rosie, do it. Mm -hmm. Mommy, can we invite Clementine and Leo to a playhouse party? That sounds like fun. As long as Rosie's invited, too. Party! Yay! <laughs> You can have it on Saturday. Daddy might even help you make blueberry muffins for everyone. Yum! I love blueberry muffins. Thanks, Mommy. Did I fill it too much? No, that's just right. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just a moment, I'll get Caillou. Sarah has something to tell you. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. I'm sick with a cold. My mom says I can't come over to play until I get better. Because I might make you sick, too. Oh, no! Yeah. It's too bad about our playhouse party. I know. We'll really miss you. You mean, you'll still have it? Sure. I'm not sick, and we're already making muffins. Oh. Well, go ahead, then. Have fun without me. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. What did Sarah say about the party? She said, have fun. Really? Well, that's nice of her. I thought you might want to put off the party until she's better, but... It sounds like she doesn't mind. But Caillou wasn't so sure. Did Sarah mind? Uh, ring, ring. Hi, it's Clementine. Come in. 
I like your play phone. Thanks. Sarah helped me make it. I like the painted garden. Thanks. Sarah and I painted it together. It sounds like Sarah helped a lot. How come she's not here? She's sick today, but she really wanted to come. Hello, lunch delivery. Here you go. Sandwiches, fruit, and... Wolfberry muffins! Mmm, I love blueberry muffins. So does Sarah. Is everything all right? I wish Sarah were here. Maybe she's all better now. I don't think so, honey. Maybe I should have waited to have the party. Until Sarah was better. Would you like me to take Sarah some muffins? Yes, please. Mommy, could you take something else to Sarah, too? Sarah, Caillou wanted you to have these. Thank you. He asked me to bring something else, too. We miss you! Why do you miss you? I miss you, too. Thanks for the muffins! <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> it's a good thing we keep lots of extra string around the house. Hey! When you're better, can you make a phone for me? And me too? <laughs> sure! Sarah was a very good friend. Caillou was glad to let her know this even if it meant telling her through a tin can. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>